Morning guys, welcome back to the cave. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is a bit of colouring. Um, I've got a blank ready in the lathe, um, so I'll just adjust the camera and then we can come back and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. So what we've got here is a blank of ash. Um, I've already turned the bottom and I'll get the bottom finished in a few days when uh, I can get a chance to get it on the vacuum chuck. Basically what we're going to do is spray this with black, black gloss. It's been finished down to 320 and it's had a, a coat of sand and sealer on then rubbed back. So I'll just get the paint and on we will go. Now this is just a, a rattle can with black gloss paint. So we're going to turn the lid down very low. That's running at about 150. And we'll get a good covering on there. Right, that's one coat done. Now this does take a wee time to dry. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll use the hot air gun, because really I want to have two coats on here. So I'll use the hot air gun very gently. I usually blister this, hopefully not this time. I think what I'll do, I'll switch the video off until that's dried and then we'll come back and put the second coat on. Right, so that's dried enough for the second coat now. Now I have got another blank prepared, so once I get this coat on, I'll put the other blank in just so we're not taking up too much time. Right, that's the second coat on, it's got a good cover in there. So I'll just pop this one off and put... Okay, so the paints I'm going to be using today, these are PBO paints, and these are Fantasy Moon. And I've got three colours here. I've got blue, I've got gold, and I've got turquoise. Now a lot of people do use the Joe Sonia paints. I don't actually colour a hell of a lot at the moment. Um, so I'm loath to actually buy some until I know I'm going to be doing a fair, fair amount of colouring. So with this, basically just stick the paint on however you want. No particular pattern. Now the turquoise, it doesn't matter if it mixes in with the previous colour, it all adds to it.
looks a bit of a mess at the moment hopefully not too much longer either that or I'm going to create more mess right so what I've got now is a sheet of cling film I'm not very sure what it's called in America but in the UK it's called cling film and I'm just going to place that on there like that and this is where you can start getting some texturing in there you can play about with it like your screen on your smartphone stick fingerprints in there get it moved about and very very gently I think actually my paint has been a bit on the, the thick side so if you just give us a minute I'm just going to loosen it down a bit right then here we go again now that's flowing a bit better the dual sunny paints do tend to flow a lot better than than these ones and quickly get these on and have another go with the cling film So you can make all different types of patterns just through using the cling film, drawing it together, pulling it back apart, putting your fingerprints in there. Take that off now. Again, that's going to take a wee while to dry. I probably will give it a hand again with the, the hot air gun.
And while that's drying it, I think I'll pop the other one back on and we'll do it. Right, so this is the other blank in, and what I thought I'd do with this one, you've probably all seen it before, but I'm going to do a, a centrifuge pattern. I'm going to start off with some yellow. The bowl size on this is going to be around about there, so it's going to be from there we're going to start. We'll get the speed turned up a bit and just apply some paint. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there is a mark on the plywood there where it's just starting to come to the edge of the bowl. Stop that and see what sort of effect I'm getting. It was supposed to be yellow. I'm going to stick some green on top of that, although that already looks green. On top of that, I'm going to put some blue. I need a bit more blue, I think. in just a bit further outside. There we go, I'm quite happy with that. <coughs> so that's that basically done. So I'll take this one off and let it dry, and then we'll come back and turn the bowl. Right, now this is a practice piece, so if you want to do this at home as a practice, and you're not happy with it, you can always come back and obviously take the paint off and do something else with it. get the speed turned up a wee bit. And we're just going to clean the inside out.
so that's done nicely. So what I'll do now, I'll get it sanded. Stick my mask on so I'll not be doing much talking. Sealer. That's been sanded down to 320. Right, so what I'm going to finish with is a, it's called clear crystal to seal it and lock it. Turn the lid down again. I'll just let that dry in between coats. I'll probably put about four or five coats on this over the next few days. But I think there'll be enough on there for once it dries so I can take a couple of photos so you can see realistically how it's turned out.
On this one I'm going to use a small diamond tool just to mark out where I want the ball and a couple of borders. And I think we'll have the ball around about there. Clear the ball out on this one. As you saw, I made a mistake there, so we'll increase the diameter of the ball. Just put another borderline in. Put the mask back on.
eight, and that's the the two bowls finished. So, like I say, I'll let these dry. <coughs> I'll stick a couple of folders up on social media. If you've liked the video, give a like. If you haven't liked, give a thumbs down. But give a reason why, so I know where I'm going wrong. Um, please share with other people, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, there'll be another one next week. Bye for now.